guys, I'm telling you what, rare varieties, if you come across them, can make you a lot of money. This is an example of a 1983 Lincoln Scent, incredibly common, incredibly plentiful for this one sold for a lot of money. I, I'm telling you, when I when I came across this, this was part of Heritage Auctions Signature Fun uh, Auction. It's kind of like a a, a midsummer type auction that bridges uh, the the actual fun show and the next one, or I I think Long Beach and another show, maybe the Baltimore one later on uh, in the fall. And uh, this particular coin right here, of course, you can only see the front with Abraham Lincoln. It looks like a ju just like a regular penny. And uh, this is one that we find in pocket change all the time. This one is a uh, PCGS, Mint State 68. Now keep in mind, looking at the close-up photo image of this coin, there are some die file lines. There's a few plating bubbling issues. But overall, the coin is immaculate, which gave it this supreme grade in which there is only one available. Now, I haven't, I haven't let the cat out of the bag in terms of the actual value of the coin that it sold for. But I can tell you this. It, it's, it's more than you guys are probably thinking right at this moment. And there's a reason why. The 1983 is not just any penny, but it is also the, the famous Red Book Guide, Cherry Picker's Guide, Double Die Reverse, as you can see from these reverse pictures. It's the strongest double die in a modern issue Lincoln set. Uh, now, when I mean modern era, I mean like 1975 and up. Okay, we're not, we're not discounting the 69S Lincoln set by no means. That's a phenomenal coin that deserves all the accolades. But this particular coin is the double die reverse, the strongest double die in the modern Lincoln Scent series. This coin, and I'm gonna tell you right now, sold in excess of $7,000 at this most recent auction, which was a few days ago. The actual end of the signature series auction through Heritage ends on the 9th, which is Sunday. So, this was one of the marquee coins because it is the only one graded in a 68. And when it sells for that kind of money, okay, number one, I have to find one for myself so I could do the same thing. I may not get the $7,000 for that second example, but I'll take six or 6,500. It's still a lot of money. And this is a coin that if you guys were to come across, whether it's by coin roll hunting, pocket change, searching, looking through uh, Aunt May's, you know, piggy bank or whatever, you definitely need to send it in to get graded. Okay, just like consigning to an auction house, they won't take it unless it's already graded. So if you find an example as nice as this one, you send it to PCGS or NGC, or maybe in this case, Annex also is another great choice for a third party authenticator. Send it in, get the grade, and then from that point forward, you have a little bit more power in terms of who to consign it with, whether it's eBay, Heritage Auctions, Great Collections, you name it. But this is a truly remarkable find right here. I don't know if it was a roll search find, a BU uh, roll find. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say, but this is a tremendous coin. Congratulations to the winner. It's fantastic. It's a lot of money. Oh my God, it's a lot of money. Uh, a lot of people are, a lot of you guys are probably asking yourself, why would anyone spend $7,000 for a coin that's barely 30 years old? That's really a great question, but you know, who knows the motivations that part of man from their money and ends up with a beauty such as this. Thank you again for watching. Please like this video. Please check out Heritage Auctions website, ha.com. This one right here is auction number 3028. It ended a few days ago. If you want to look at the description of the auction. 
They have their sale going on through Sunday. There is still more bargains to be found, more nice coins to kind of fritter away, tuck away into a collection. And uh, yeah, like this video, share it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, I hope I'm a likable guy on uh, YouTube when it comes to coin collecting. Uh, it's a great passion of mine. I've been part of the hobby for going on 20, 25 years, somewhere in between there. But you guys uh, take care. Stay tuned for more great coin episodes. I got a lot more for you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.